Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2019, Question 8. We need to find the sum from r equals 4 to infinity of 20 times by a half to the power of r. So, as we've got a multiple of something with an r in it, we can take that multiple out. So this is all going to be equal to 20 lots of the sum from r equals 4 to infinity of a half to the power of r. Now the sum from 4 to infinity is the same as the sum of 1 to infinity minus those first three terms because we want to start at 4 so we don't want r equals 1, 2 and 3 in there. So we've now got 20 lots of the sum from 1 to infinity of a half to the power of r minus the sum from 1 to 3 of a half to the r. So working these out separately, if the sum to infinity, this is a geometric series because we're just multiplying by a half each time. So using our formula for the sum to infinity of a geometric series, we've got the first term, which is a half on top. And on the bottom, we've got one minus the ratio, which is also a half, and this equals one. For the second bit, we need the sum from one to three. Well, this is just gonna be a half to the one, add a half to squared, add a half cubed. So a half, add a quarter, add an eighth, which is equal to seven eighths. So putting these back into what we had before, our answer is going to be 20 times 1 minus 7 eighths, which is 20 times an eighth, which is 2.5. We now need to show that the sum from 1 to 48 of log base 5 n plus 2 over n plus 1 is equal to 2. So we've got a log of a fraction in there. So using our log rules, we can split this log up into the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So we've now got the sum from 1 to 48 of log base 5 n plus 2 minus log base 5 n plus 1. So now if we start writing this out by going through our different values of n, when n is 1, we'll have log 3 minus log 2. When n is 2, we'd have log 4 minus log 3. When n is 3, we'd have log 5 minus log 4, and so on and so on. And then reaching to the end, when n is 47, we would have log 49 minus log 48. And the last one at 48, we would have log 50 minus log 49. Now, if we look at what we've got here, we've got a positive log 3 and a negative log 3. They'd cancel each other out. The same would happen with the log 4s. And just thinking about what's going to happen as we keep going through this, We've got a positive log 5 written down, but in our next step, we would end up with a negative log 5, so that would all cancel. Equally, at the other end, this negative log 48 that we've got will have had a positive one earlier. They'll cancel out. The log 49s will cancel out. So the only things that would be left here are that negative log 2 at the beginning and the positive log 50 at the end. So the whole thing is equal to log base 5 50 minus log base 5 2. Now, reversing our log rule, we've got a log minus a log, so we can change that back into a fraction. So we've got log base 5, 50 over 2, which is log to base 5, 25. Well, 25 is 5 squared, so the answer to that must be 2, as required. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel, or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.